Welcome to our three-week adventure across Costa Rica. I'm Amy, and today I'll be taking you along with my family as we explore this stunning country and experience the famous Pura Vida lifestyle. So let's get started. What is Pura Vida? In Spanish, it translates to pure or simple life. It's often used as a greeting and symbolizes enjoying life to the fullest. Costa Rica is located in Central America and known for its lush tropical rainforest, its stunning beaches and diverse wildlife. It's a popular destination for ecotourism and activities such as ziplining, surfing and hiking in national parks. The local culture is relaxed and friendly and the official language is Spanish. Visitors can also enjoy delicious fresh cuisine made with ingredients such as plantain, beans and rice. Whether you're looking for a peaceful escape or an action-packed adventure, Costa Rica is a must-visit destination. We were blessed and visited for 21 days during the month of July. Here's the breakdown of our stay, a trip that will forever hold a special place in my heart as an all-time favorite. Please note that as usual, any activity or accommodation that are mentioned during this video, I will be linking in the description below. Our journey started in the capital city of San Jose, where we rented a van. To move around Costa Rica, a car is extremely practical as some roads are unpaved. And imagine you really wanted to visit this one pristine stretch of beach, but it's only accessible through gravel roads and deep jungle. Yeah, my recommendation is rent a 4x4. From San Jose, we drove through the mountains to San Carlos. The drive through the mountain was a little scary, I have to admit. Well, scary to me. Um, it was a little late, there was a little bit of fog, and the roads were very windy. We arrived and checked into a fascinating cabin in the jungle. The cabin was rustic, secluded, completely immersed in nature, and only 15 minutes away from the city of La Fortuna and the volcano Arenal. Every morning was magic. We'd sip coffee while taking in the beauty and sounds of nature. The property was fun for the kids, even had a small pool. They enjoyed jumping on the trampoline, lazing about in the hammock, while mom and dad had fun taking in the views. We loved seeing all the animals and birds. There was iguanas, herons, ducks, great green macaws, you name it, it was there. We spent the next two days in La Fortuna where we went on an ATV tour through the city and parts of the jungle. We also took a guided boat ride to the volcano Arenal and enjoyed the beautiful scenery. A boat ride on Lake Arenal offers the chance to see the volcano from a different perspective because the boat reaches the base of the volcano. So we had the chance to see the volcano up close and admire its majestic beauty. We observed the local wildlife and the kids were even allowed to steer the boat. Super fun! On day four, we packed our bags and continued on our adventure. The kids were sad to leave, but we were headed to the beach, Playa Hermosa. The drive took us approximately four hours. Playa Hermosa is a beach town located in the northern Pacific coast of Costa Rica. It's known for its beautiful white sand beaches and clear blue waters. It's very popular among tourists, surfers and expats because of its close proximity to the Liberia International Airport. The town offers a wide range of activities. It also features a variety of restaurants and bars. There we stayed in a three-floor townhouse called Tropical Dreams, perfect for families with kids, with a huge shared pool and a rooftop terrace with hammocks, which was amazing. During that week, we visited as many beaches as possible. Did I tell you we are 100% beach enthusiasts? We visited Playa Blanca. Here we had to park our car and take a shuttle to the beach, which was interesting. Playa Panama, located in the Gulf of Papagayo. It's a secluded and serene beach and offers gorgeous ocean views and fantastic sunsets. The water is calm, tranquil, it feels like entering a lake or a pool. Ideal for families with young children. And here comes my favorite beach of all Costa Rica. Playa Conchal. It's located near the town of Flamingo and it's known for its stunning crystal clear waters and its unique shoreline which is made of small pieces of colorful shells which is why it's named Conchal or shell in Spanish. Here you can find a variety of marine life such as fish, coral and sea turtles. I absolutely adored this beach. We also tried surfing at Tamarindo Beach which is known for its great surf conditions. The beach break is consistent and offers waves for surfers of all levels. There are many surf schools and rental shops in Tamarindo offering lessons, equipment rental, guided tours. Many experienced surfers from all around the world come to Tamarindo to surf and it's also a great spot for those looking to meet other surfers and make connections. We also had the chance to visit the Diamante Eco Adventure Park which is a popular ecotourism destination. 
It offers a variety of outdoor activities and adventure experiences, such as ziplining, ATV tours, horseback riding, and wildlife watching. The park also features a Costa Rican wildlife sanctuary. If you go, try the Superman zipline course. It features nearly a mile-long ocean view line Superman style, which means head first towards the ocean. It was really a lot of fun. Also included is a 30-foot free fall quick jump. We had a blast. On day 12, we drove four hours to Esteli Oeste and stayed at Casa Leoni in a secure gated community just three minutes away from the beach by car. The house boasted an enchanting outdoor space. Every day we saw monkeys, sloths, and even green scarlet macaws. We also spotted a boa constrictor on one of the roads. The beach in Estedios is hard to beat. We were pretty much the only people on the beach and if you hit it at low tide, it's great for kids to play in the water. We visited the city of Jaco and also headed to Manuel Antonio National Park. It's renowned for its vast diversity of tropical plants and wildlife, from three-toed sloths and endangered white-faced capuchin monkeys, with its rugged rainforest, white sand beaches and coral reefs. The two main beaches inside the park, Esparia Sur and Manuel Antonio, are about a 30-minute hike from the main entrance of a park. Playa Manuel Antonio is best known for its spectacular views, but if you're looking to beat the crowds, venture a bit further down the main trail to Playa Espadilla Sur. On the 20th day, we headed back to San Jose, which took 2.5 hours, and checked into Loma Tranquila in Alajuela with views of the city. We spent our last two days taking in the views and enjoying our last moments in Costa Rica, shopping and dining in the city. After three marvelous weeks, it was time to head back home. What an unforgettable trip. To this day, we dream of returning to Costa Rica, and when we do, we'll visit the Caribbean coast, which continues to remain a pristine, off-the-beaten-path destination with a unique culture of its own. We hope you enjoyed our Costa Rica itinerary and that it gave you some inspiration for your next family vacation. If you like this video, please give it a like and consider subscribing to the Globetrotting Gang. Subscribing will improve the visibility of our channel and allow us to create even more engaging content. Happy travels!